Hey everybody, this is Brian. He's playing this game called uh, We Happy Few. And um, from what I saw, it looks like a society that uh, forces you to, or forces its uh, citizens to have uh, these pills that make them happy. And eventually there's uh, some type of rebellion, but also a lot of the people that are on the pills start to go kind of mental, haywire. And I think uh, it's a result of them uh, not uh, not wanting to uh, have these pills, but also the people have been taking them and then they stop taking them kind of go insane. So this is We Happy Few. Um, I've been waiting to play this for a couple of years and it was way too expensive at one point, but then they dropped the price to like a ridiculous... It's like seven dollars or something like that. So uh, I figured it was definitely well worth it, and uh, yeah, it's something to play for a while. So I'm gonna start it right now. I like the music. It's like weird elevator music. Another thing that really caught my eye about this game is the uh, art design. The graphics look really, really nice. And uh, this is PlayStation 4, it's not PlayStation 5. But I have it running on a PlayStation 5, so I think it should load a lot faster than uh, PlayStation 4. Must be the pills. Happy pills. I should just take my joy, shouldn't I? Huh, joy pills. No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. Uh, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! Uh -huh. The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. I'm afraid I lack my father's common touch. So could you just pretend that I know how to motivate you? Hey, Chris. Happy Friday. Thank God. I'm afraid 
I lack my father's common touch. So could you just pretend that I know how to motivate you? Do you have any idea how hard it was to find flour for a cake? I'm going to be quite put out if it goes stale. Oh, so, so this machine must be uh what are we going to do, Arthur? To edit the newspapers and stuff like that to make the the townspeople feel like everything's great. You know, basically uh editing real news before it gets to the people. I'm actually gonna accept this document because at first he said we can't Oh no, he said we can't have that for the previous one. Right. Nobody's having nightmares over that. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. I'm not going to completely read these, but, uh... Just trying to see if it contains any positive messages or negative messages. Yeah, I saw this at PAX uh, East. Um, I saw it referenced. I, I didn't really check it out, but I saw articles on it. And I thought the game looked pretty interesting, but it was always like way too expensive. I got it for like seven bucks on a sale on the PlayStation Store. They're having a, uh, a winter sale or holiday sale. On memories. Yeah, the before times. You know, when we didn't have to worry about people not being smart. Even though they're still out there. Ah, battery's dead. Oh, that must be me. Arthur. I love that clock. That's cool. That chair. Definitely in, uh, what's that, Britain, England, London, oh, oh. Hey, Ian. Happy Friday. Clive Birth Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? Restricted area, no unauthorized personnel beyond this point. Must be uh, really important. Keep your chin up. That's a nice uh, poster to have in your office. Cricket, cricket paddle. And here's a letter in what I'm almost positive is Clive's terrible handwriting. Dear Director Bing, one of your employees is submissive and may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commissary telling a friend that he thinks that his job redacting old articles is silly and what's so scary about the truth. Okay, so that's apparently what my character is doing is editing the newspapers before it gets to the public. He's very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I am naturally shy 
Oh, I, I am naturally a shy woman, and... And there it leaves off, a shy woman. Are you, Clive? Or just a nasty, manipulative schemer? Uh, I'm not going to read all these. That little shit. He wants my view. I can't take the pills. So I think they call those joy pills. Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks. Edit some more newspapers. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm actually going to let as many negative newspapers go as possible. Maybe that'll get society to realize that being controlled isn't the right thing to do. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Nothing wrong with that one. <laughs> That's cricket. You know, a cell phone provider. Bicycle taxi. Oh. Mastery. Art of crafting wicker. That's a rather I'll, have, I'll approve that one. I'll edit this one. I think we can look with that. This totally blacks out that part of the newspaper. Ah, battery's dead again. Oh, might as well check this place out. Here's another one of those uh, cool clocks. Oh, you can get lock picks in this game. That's cool. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Oh, that's weird. It's getting all uh, strangely stretched out and trippy. Ugh. It's a nice uh, fruit basket. Oh, that was weird. Everything was like warped for a moment there. And this guy stopped taking his uh, his joy pills. So I'm you're not coming back. Are you pretty pretty sure that. Uh, Where did you go? He's experiencing hall hallucinations or something because he's no longer on his uh, pills. Hey, that looks like that waste bin looks like the bottom part of a Dalek. <laughs> Dalek trash barrels. Oh, I mean, you're obviously going to have best attitude if you keep taking those pills. As Simon says, it's interesting. Ah, battery's dead. Oh, Prudence is a slob. Jeez, she like really, uh, she cleaned up her office. Let's see what's down here. I did take them. No, no, leave me alone. I took my joy. I took my joy. No, leave me alone. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Okay, he actually sees me. Ah, get out of here. behind in our work now that you mention it. Thought that guy was gonna come and get me. And remember, no matter what, make sure you're taking an upshot. There's no excuse anymore for feeling bad. That guy's got the Joker smile. Well, I'm afraid it comes to the end of our time. Tune in again next time. Is that like outside? Oh, that's actually outside on a building. I thought that was inside on a TV set. This is Dr. Jack Worthing saying my prescription for you is to stay well. 
I take the whole uh, city must be able to see that. Like propaganda and stuff like that. That guy stopped chasing me. Oh, he closed the blinds. He must have did something really bad, that guy. It's like nothing around here so far. This must be the office of redacting. Yeah, I love the artwork in this game. Even that logo looks pretty cool. But look, there are some things that Joy won't The design of this game kind of reminds me of Bioshock, or a combination of Bioshock and uh, Fallout, because of the retro look, but I think it's in the future, although I, I saw a calendar a moment ago. I forgot to check the year. I mean, someone's laughing. <laughs> there you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Like piñatas. Give it a whack. Oh, what the heck? Oh, crap. Oh, man. That's pretty gross. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Huh. Oh, my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Oh man, so a downer must be someone who doesn't take the joy pills anymore. Crap. This isn't the best place to be trapped in. Crap. Uh... uh. Oh man, that's awesome. There's like all the uh, redacted documents going back and forth. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> oh man. Hey, they really don't like the people not taking those pills. Jeez. Crap. Oh, shit. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget it, there's no time. <laughs> Happy as a country has no past. Man, I wonder if they killed me or if they uh, forced me to take pills or something or injected me like that other guy. The game is pretty cool so far. I thought it was going to be one of those type of games that the introduction would take a really long time and drag it out. I love games like this, but I don't like when they really drag out the beginning and it's really slow and you know, tedious. And they make you do all these ridiculous tasks. I'm almost wondering if that redacting thing had nothing to do with anything that transpires in the game. I think it was just to kind of give you an idea what the guy does for his job and then gives you an example of what he does. 
Hey, I'm still alive. Well, that's good. Uh, uh, Christ! How funny those bastards chased me! There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Oh, that must be my waypoint. That uh, white thing behind the wall that's showing up. What's this? Our home distribution node. Huh. That doesn't look like any redacted documents. That looks like uh, gas or liquid or something. What's that? Wear your safety helmet and gloves at all times. Which I'm sure I'm not doing. I don't want to go down those stairs yet. I want to check down here. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. I got no choice but to go down here. A giant rat. I finally got to pick up some. I got some coins. Finally found something in uh, one of the containers too. Cool. Oh, that's a radio. I thought that was a person speaking. Oh, bobby pins. So there's apparently some type of crafting system in this game because uh, they're finally giving me supplies. Point tools away from you. It's uh, good advice. Keep thinking that's something I can pick up. Oh, it's 1964. I thought it was the future. All right, more bobby pins. That tie a string. You know, I probably should be reading all this, but for the sake of letting people see the game, I'm not going to read too much. But given what I'm seeing, this is uh, saving it in my uh, inventory so I can look back at it when I say, what am I supposed to do? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta look at the, the notes that I got. Oh, this is great find a bunch of bobby pins. Those ones are kind of hidden in the dark. Oh, it's something right here. So it said I could craft. Let me see. Alright, I got a skill system. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can craft a uh, lock pick. Ah, there we go. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. Uh, I gotta check the bathroom out. The la lavatory. Oh, 
Florence really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. <laughs> I actually found stuff in the toilet. So that's uh, pretty sanitary. So, apparently not something I could flush like some of the games. Like uh, Postal 2 where you can walk up and pull the chain and flush it. Well, on Postal 2 I think it's just a uh, regular flushing handle. Head back out here. See where I'm supposed to go. Now I got a, I got two lock picks, if I recall. Oh, yeah, it would help if I uh, looked at the waypoint. That's. Uh, Lead me down here. Oh, it's this door. Oh, that's weird. It's not like Skyrim. I thought it was going to let me uh, actually pick the lock like in Skyrim where you have to move the uh, pins and tumblers around. Oh, that's not good. First dead person in the game. What happened to him? Or the who? Electro lock shocker. I wonder if that's a weapon. Ah, that person had nothing on them. Said I could pick them up. That's cool. Hide the body. I'm going to put their body in the bathroom. I'm going to see if I can sit them on the toilet. Nope. Try that again. I can't jump. Maybe right here. Eh. It's going to say close enough. <laughs> Looks like I had a rough night. Limit joy once per hour. <laughs> Does that mean if they overdose, over, over uh, dose on joy, they uh, they're overjoyed? Modeling. Non. Oh, now with resublimated theomotilene chemical words I don't know and I don't know if they're real. Ooh. Oh. Are they going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I I promise. But but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Uh, keep your eyes on the job. Modeling. When you craft, you can use any items in your pneumatic stash, no matter where you are. Oh, so that's cool. So it's almost like the chests in Skyrim or the uh, the ones in uh, Fallout. Oh, 
Uh, well, it looks like I'm, I'm not holding that much stuff. I, I guess that little meter right there looks like pounds. I'm carrying three pounds out of a hundred maximum. I'm assuming at some point I can upgrade my stats and then uh, carry more. Doesn't seem to be anything else around here. Oh, except that book. Uh, lots of reading. Like I said, I'm not going to do a ton of reading with the exception of things that don't have that many uh, paragraphs in them. Uh, like I said, just for the sake of uh, making sure people can see more of the game. Oh, cranky faces. Let's see what happened to my sleep. Wow. Nine hours and 50 minutes. At least I think that's what that is. That's a long sleep. Sleep. The poor man's dinner. Uh, it said I'm hungry, but I'm well rested. So yeah, it looks like it goes by almost like a stat system, like in uh, Skyrim and stuff like that, or Fallout. Hmm. The hatch looks shut. I'm gonna need a way to unlock it. There must be a switch in one of these rooms. Oh, man. Oh, I lost my uh, shock thing. That sucks. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. I didn't know I was going to be able to fight. He's stuck in the door. Let's see, take advantage of that. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Oh, this guy had nothing on him. Carry him, I'll drop him off somewhere. I'm assuming that the police will take notice if I put a body somewhere. Maybe let's throw him in the dark over here. Oh, I can throw him. I didn't know I could throw him. It's not much of a throw. <laughs> the guy is apparently not that strong. Let's leave him there in the dark. I figure if I can't see him, then uh, the cops can't see him, unless, of course, they're carrying flashlights. And now I'll finally be able to get out of the underground here. Oh. I think there's some cabinets I didn't check out. ones. Oh, won't let me check those ones. Keep feeling like I'm missing something around here. any other hatches to go to just yet. Oh, that's cool. So fast travel hatches. So they're probably all over the city. And then once you get to one, you can eventually go to it. I'm assuming that's what they do. Oh, okay, so it, so far I've only activated this one. That's why it's not letting me use I have to find a second one. And I can travel to and from each one. Finally, see what the city looks like. That's if it's leading me to the city. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. 
Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. I know. Trust me. I know. Just trying to see if there's anything else in here. Might be, uh... Might have been hidden behind that lady, but apparently not. Yeah, the graphics in this game are pretty decent. Oh wow, I can kind of walk, walk through things and stuff, like bushes and things. I wasn't sure if it was the type of thing where you, if you walked into a bush, it would just kind of stop you right there. Oh, hey, cool. Berries. They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be able to pick up flowers and stuff. Well, not these flowers, but those berries at least. Hard to believe people fast on purpose. I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. Wow. Oh. So apparently it looks like uh, some type of war or something. I thought I was going to walk out and then uh, see like all these people walking around all happy and stuff, but <laughs> apparently something happened. People uh, getting sick of being controlled by medications and stuff to make them completely happy. Pretty sure that's what's happened. I'm just kinda running around here looking for stuff to pick up. It's nice that it actually highlights things uh, that you can pick up too, because that way there, you know, you have some type of indication if it's something you can actually take. I'll check down this way first. I got my waypoints up there, so that's good. Place is a mess. They aren't coming back. Wonder who they are. Check out that tower. I bet a shovel can be used as a weapon. Probably be a good thing to have. I want to get jumped again in the dark like I, I did earlier. Well, I hope this doesn't give me food poisoning. Oh, that's pretty cool. Dig spot. So that's kind of like when in uh, Skyrim when you find maps and read certain books and it'll add stuff to your map for you. No. No. Just rest in my feet. It's funny they don't really give you animations for climbing up and down ladders like some games do. They just kind of jump right to the next spot where you're going. Oh, I probably don't want to fall down there. It's probably instant death, I bet. Hey, there's a person over there. I am oh, a dead person. person. Yeah. I haven't got it all figured out. 
but I will find you. Ah, poor guy. There's a path over here. Oh, jeez, that's not a path. I thought there was a path going down the side of the hill. I would have uh, <laughs> probably plummeted into the water. I'm actually going to go back and check this house over here that I kept walking by. And see what's in there. If it even lets me in there. Now what's this? Uh, we shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Well, apparently someone surrendered. There's no one around. Getting a bit thirsty. We better find something to drink. I can't fit through there. Where's a pub when you need one? There's a pump on barrel home, isn't there? When you consume food, your maximum stamina increases for a short time. When you're too hungry, your maximum stamina decreases. When you drink, the cost of sprinting is reduced. When you're too thirsty, sprinting costs more stamina. While ignoring this won't kill you, do try to remember to eat and drink so that you can benefit from nutrition and hydration. Kind of makes sense. Starved. Oh, I see what they're saying. Yeah, stamina has a red part on it now. Yeah, so apparently there must have been a war here, and, uh, townspeople lost. Hey, there's a phone booth. Check that out. Ugh. I'd really better find something to drink, sir. <laughs> Help win the war. Eat less bread. Sure, that's a uh, good thing to do. Ah, that's pretty cool. See if anything was left around here. Oh, hey, it looks like there's people over here. What the heck? Those aren't people. Make someone set up a tea party. Oh, it is a tea party. Yeah, I can read this. Nanny's tea party. Do come in your finery. Remember your manners. Probably gonna hit a point with a lot of crap I don't need, but it's just like Skyrim. Probably best to pick up uh, everything you can. So I'm pretty sure I could dump off a lot of stuff. Ah, too bad I couldn't wear that helmet. Be a uh, good protection.
Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Yeah, rotten apple. Well, I hope Mrs. Hudson feeds Sparky. That's this. And doesn't eat him. One of Pinhead's relatives. Grow your own vegetables. Make fat babies. I know it's telling me to go to the train station, but I figured I might as well try to get as uh, much stuff as possible before I do that. Because some games, I don't know if this is one of those type of games, but some games, they'll go into a transition, uh, like an animation or a cutscene, and then all of a sudden, everything you just went past, you can suddenly no longer get later on. So, anytime I play a game I've never really uh, read about or you know saw a whole lot about, I try to um, pick up everything possible. Especially in a game like this where it's like crafting. I figured if I... Uh, if I miss anything, I'm going to be kicking myself in the butt because there's probably a lot of stuff around here, which luckily so far I've found a lot. A rose of Gilead. A rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Oh yeah, see? Found some ingredients to heal himself. Just finding good stuff around here. Well, that's really weird. I can't pick that because it requires night. Night bloom and nonsuch. That's weird. Who wouldn't I kill for a sandwich? I'm like starving my guy to death. Well, to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? Oh, there we go. I get some water. Heavens, I'm parched. Oh, <laughs> apparently I don't have a canteen. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Oh, tempura. Oh, mores. Oh, cool. Hey, you had a canteen. How convenient. This ought to be pretty clean. Unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Oh, so it sounds like they uh, poisoned the water. Well, not poisoned the water, but they they drugged the water to make everybody happy, too. Yeah, but it seems like the people in this area just weren't having it. You know, being forced to be happy is something that apparently, I'm sure, can uh, mess with the chemicals in your brain, and then uh, someone to come off of the the chemicals that are supposed to make you happy your body probably craves it like other drugs unfortunately but uh it's my guess people probably just went bonkers <laughs> for a moment there I thought I was in Skyrim I was expecting to take up my pickaxe Look for some ore. <laughs> okay, so it looks like I'm almost done clearing this area because that's my uh, destination right there. And knowing the way this game's been going, something crazy's going to happen when I go to that spot over there. Oh, I need an extractor. Oh. 
Oh, you can hide. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't hide into the trunk. That's neat. Oh, now I know if I get chased, I can hide somewhere. Let me check this out before I move along. Oh, this place doesn't look happy. This place is the complete opposite of joy. It's like, uh, Cranky Town. What's this? I look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. Sure they love it when you bang on the door. Oh. Headboy fight tonight, tonight. Who will end up in the ring? Headboy fight, that's right. That's right. A fight to the death. Ding ding. Let's see if I go around the back of this place and see uh, if there's a way to sneak in. I'm probably going to get the crap kicked out of me if there's anyone in there because I just started the game. Whoa. Secret entrance. Hock tongue, uh, uh and, and entrant. Herborn. Herbotan. Danger entry forbidden. It's apparently the English translation. Because I can't say German, uh, the German words are crap. I'm not going to go in there just yet. I'm just going to kind of run around here on the edges to see what I've got around here. Especially if I get chased, I want to find out where I'm supposed to be running to. Okay, so I just went around the whole place. So... God, I'm famished. I'll go down here. Oh, crap. I don't know if this is the type of game if I can get hurt from falling, but I'm assuming it is, given all the stats and everything I'm seeing. That's nothing. I got a loose screw. In this game, you get a screw loose. I can think of no good reason to go into a camp full of heavily armed delinquents. And I hope I never have one either. Requires desperation. That's weird. It's like a lot of strange uh, terms in this game for certain things. I wonder if desperation might be like a uh, a chemical or something, or like a drug. So I'm assuming it might be safe that I uh, exit this place now. I'll uh, see if I can head over to the uh, train station. Oh, wait a sec, I haven't seen this. Yeah, guess I gotta uh, leave this area now. I'll check out this car first. Car. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a person. Nice suit. Nice Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. No, <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? Ho, 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 ho. You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, 
What are they? Me medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk. And the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Luda can store most of those too. Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Imagine Percy in the village now. He never could fit in. Not that that excuses anything. Locked. Aha, uh -huh. but I remember how to make a lock pick. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Okay, so this is one of those type of games where you have to find different things and put them in different things, stuff like that. Uh, friendly reminder to enter the village. Remove soiled garments. Probably a good idea. Enjoy a tepid shower. In a tidy clothes. Spritz on some scent. Peppermint of roses. Papa Joy. That's one of those pills that they are forcing all the people in the town or city to take to be happy. Watch Uncle Jack on the telly. Play a game. Uncle Jack. That's weird. You've got to find something to eat. What's that? That's neat. A vending machine. At your service, night or day. I like that logo. It's neat. Let's see what they got in here I can buy. So much to choose from. Ah, I'm not going to buy anything it. yet. So I gotta go back and try to get into that place, which I was at a moment ago. My guess is I gotta go in that secret entrance I found around the back. It's just a hunch, but uh, take a shot. See if I can open up that door now that I made a uh, crowbar. down here. Oh, I can pick the lock. Alright. Oh, that loading screen was so quick I did, didn't even really get to see what it was. It reminded me of something from, um, from the Fallout series where they showed the test pattern. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. Oh, I see. My left, uh, my L2 button is block. My R2 button's punch. Both hands. I thought I had to push L and R for left and right, but apparently not. Kind of reminded me of uh, Silent Hill before everything turned all uh, all decrepit looking. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. I 
I gotta check my inventory to see if I have anything like a flashlight. Well, I got a lot of stuff now. <laughs> I can apparently, uh, at some point, craft a proper, proper suit. It's probably to blend in with uh, society. I'll make some uh, healing bomb. A dirty bandage. That doesn't sound very sanitary, but I'll uh, maybe make a couple of those. Oh, I see. In the lower right-hand corner, it has a uh, different items I've made. Oh, that's a rock. Dart, glass wall, rock, dart. Blue card, pure water, rotten tomato. Oh, there we go. It works. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. Whoa. Looks more like a prison cell as opposed to an elevator. Oh, crap. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in the arena i don't suppose there's some way i could be more useful to you alive i don't know can you juggle well i could write a lovely poem i won a prize in school nah we've already got a bad first put your things in that box i will leave you there to starve what the heck I don't want to give up my inventory. Uh, it looks like there's nothing else I can do though. That really sucks because uh, I got a lot of stuff. I can't really uh, hurt those guys. You know, this must be the type of thing like uh, it was in Skyrim. I think they uh, they take you into the uh, the jail at one point and think you uh, lose a lot of your items but they end up in a box. Good thy loins for the moment of truth. For it is upon you. Oh, that stinks. All that stuff I said I was going to get. Crap, this looks like an arena, like an underground arena. When you have completed multiple quests, you can choose which one to focus on by selecting and using the track encounter button. Okay, so I'm in the head boy place, so. Little George's initiation, he has to win an arena fight with a tourist. No fair fighting Wastrel weekends? It's like a lot of English terminology in here. Or British, I'm assuming. Fresh meat only, haha. Steal food not looted from a dead body. Sneak into the village and steal a bobby hat. Maybe make it a red bobby hat. It's a fight I'd like to see, haha. Clean my mouth. Can clean my leather jacket and talk properly. Stop being a dull wanker. Oops, I guess little George might not be a head boy. No, might might not be a head boy material after all. Haha. -ha. Oh crap, there we go. 
assuming they're gonna make me fight somebody. Yeah, watch it be some like really big guy. Hey, I'm gonna beat the crap out of this guy. Bloody hell! Arthur Hastings! I'm sorry? I, I don't... I don't think I know you! Of course you know me! You got me set from the old current! I, uh... I, I don't remember that! I, I, I don't work there anymore! You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original! Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight! To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line! Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now let's kill your weapons. Oh, man. One Get to choose a weapon. Is quite the other will just give the other chaps a bad dream. Had a bridge. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's part oh, of the one. That's true. He, he has a wooden, uh, hey, another one pipe, a lead got, pipe or something. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come with strong with that lead pipe. You're going to want to block that. Oh, jeez. The stick is a lot faster than that heavy weapon he's carrying, that's why I'm uh, able to hit him a bunch of times. I'm trying to hit him in the head. I'm not too sure if this is one of those type of games where it depends on where you hit them. Start to lose stamina, it starts to get hard to punch. Oh, geez. Gain some stamina here. Ah, oh, I did. What have we come to?
chance to have a double war quits. What the? Oh, a girl. That's unfair. Ah, jeez. Ah, man. Oh, I didn't think I had anything to heal with. go so I think I'm gonna try to uh, throw the uh, bodies in the uh, elevator see if I can uh, chuck them in. okay good I can chuck them in there now I, I figure if I take the bodies with me I can at least check them when I'm not around the cops or anything. I'll just make a pile of bodies in there. Before I leave this place, I'm gonna check it or check it out thoroughly and uh, see if I can find anything. I apologize if I'm talking funny. I'm I'm wearing headphones. I can't 100% hear what I'm saying, so it's making me talk funny. Uh, there's nothing in here. A holding a cell. What a sinking feeling. Oh man. Guy just dropped me out of the bottom of the elevator. And everyone's bodies are still here though, which is good. Assuming that they have something on them. Ah, uh, that's it. Crap, I stole something. Oh god, these are... Oh god. Oh, man. These are all dead bodies, probably from the, uh, the losers of the fighting matches. It's a total bummer, though, they took all my inventory. And, uh... Not sure if in, uh... Just like in Skyrim, if they can tell if I stole stuff or not. But, uh... I'm assuming I need stuff, so I guess I'll just take everything I can find. Probably gonna get myself in trouble though when I do this. It's kind of like in Skyrim when you go to steal something and you're not a good thief. It's almost like uh, they could tell you stole stuff. So I never quite understood that. It's not like the security cameras are on. Oh, good. This game is kind of like, uh, like a lot of the other games now where you can just kind of hop up and your character will grab the ledge and pull themselves up. That's good. It'll make it a little bit easier to get out of some places. This 
some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. <laughs> I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a Montelene dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. Uh, I better get this cop. Uh, so buying skills. When you've earned enough points, you can purchase skills and improve your abilities. Purchase the sweet dream skill. Uh, so that must just be like a stealth takedown or kill. Oh yeah. The sweet dreams uh, quietly choke people unconscious from behind, smother them unconscious in their beds. Sounds good, but I don't have a pillow. I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. <coughs> Just relax. Don't question it. Ah, that guy had nothing on him. I figured at least a cop would have something on him. It's like everything I have now is uh, stuff I stole. So, uh... I guess there's no choice for me to not be a thief. This game is starting to turn into kind of like Thief or, uh, or, uh, Assassin's Creed. on the other side. Hopefully he doesn't turn around. Oh, please just lie down. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Cops, uh, most likely hiding all over the place here. Well, not hiding, but walking all over, like that guy in the distance there. Try not to dream about trains. It was pretty daring that I slept there. Hey, boys, rule, okay? Can't get into that. That's a bummer. Citizens, gather round. I'll tell you a bedtime story. Tonight's story is called Little Red Riding Hood. Once, a young woman was told by her older sister to bring a pie and some milk to their mother who lived in the forest. <laughs> this guy apparently the works for the company that makes the joy drug. I wonder if he changed a little Red Riding Hood story to make it happy. that her mother had knitted for her because it went with her red, red hair and her red, red mouth. As she was walking through the forest, a wolf came up to her. For in those days, wolves roamed free in the woods. 
The wolf tossed her. Hello, little English girl. Where are you going? Little Red Riding Hood was not afraid of wolves. Oh man. That's for knocking down my blocks in nursery. Called more police. I can hide under the bed. That's pretty cool. That's like, um, oh man, what's the name of that game? Outlast. You can't, uh, kill any bad guys or anything, but you can hide. Basically go into a uh, mental institution that's been overrun by criminals and uh, you have to film all the stuff that's gone on in there. But you get to hide in it. I thought he pressed the alarm the uh, police to show up. Kind of crazy, there's only two police in this place. I thought after that guy pulled the, uh, the lever for the alarm that there would have been more police showing up. That doesn't look good. It's probably not good to walk in there. Oh, 
<laughs> that guy got pretty messed up. Just showed me a warning. I, I didn't quite catch or read it, but I'm assuming it's saying something like, uh, they're looking for me. I think I got all my stuff back. for the bridge Crap. or that chap's medals. Uh, so I better get that power cell. So. Jeez, maybe I do have to go in here. Oh, there we go. There's a power cell right there. There we go. I can find a path more to leave. Pure resupplemented thymotony. The fuel of the future? No. I thought this purple stuff would have been bad, but uh apparently not. the medals. Well, I guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. Right, get out of this place. See that screen that just popped up for a second with the grey logo that... If I crouch... But I can disappear into those bushes. That uh, gray logo that just popped up really quick, I think if that was on the PlayStation 4, that would stay there for a few moments as the screen was loading. But this uh, PlayStation 5 loads a lot of games really quick, so some loading screens you see for a brief moment. Oh, it's a bathroom. Outhouse. Can't do anything yet, though. Uh, that must be bags of, uh, what was in the outhouse, I'm assuming, with all the flies around it. Uh, there's a cop over there. Oh, there's two cops. You see their, uh, headlamps. I'm gonna see if I can distract one of them. Ah! 
Oh, jeez. What the? Oh, man. It's not personal. I can't believe none of the other cops heard that. Shows are on high alert. Oh, crap. I guess there's nothing we can do for him now. Let's see if I can actually hide. throw this bottle in the outhouse so I'm gonna see if I can Ah oh, jeez he saw me and it's not your bleeding castle can't we work something else guy sounds like he puked no I guess I'm gonna have to be a uh, be a killer here instead of stealthy. Well, luckily, they leave a lot of bottles around here, so that's pretty cool. You can throw the bottle at them and kind of stun them or you could throw it to distract them and there's only one other cop over there so I think what I'm gonna do oh geez he's waking up see which direction he's going in now I'm assuming he doesn't see me because he has a uh, he doesn't have a red icon on him so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, throw a uh, bottle right over right over there that, that didn't work out the way I wanted to Too much for stealth. I'm just taking whatever I want because uh, I've already got a bunch of stolen goods. is one of those type of games where you can't knock everything around. I mean, that, that bucket's like indestructible. So with that campfire. That doesn't matter, though. This game's a lot of fun. I like this game. Well, so far with the lockpicks, I haven't broken any. You know, like Skyrim, where you actually have to move them around. The uh, pins and the tumblers. I don't know if that light over there is a cop or what, but... Uh, let's see if I can make it back to that guy and give him back his stuff. 
well, his medals. I think he said they were his grandfather's or his father's medals or something like that. Let's see if I can get up to him. Oh, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> Oops. I'll take that. I say I can't pick that up still. I don't think my inventory is full. There's probably going to be cops around here, I bet, before I can even get to that guy. Huh. I thought the Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other so ones are. rules of the Garden District. Don't steal. We have little enough as it is. You're welcome to visit. But do be sociable and have a chat. There's a nice fellow. Sleep in your own bed. Remember Goldilocks? You can eat any fruit you find except the fruit of the apple tree. The bobbies will kill you. That's nice. Yes, we remember. You don't have to bloody remind us the present is awful enough as it is. Okay, so apparently the people around here aren't taking that drug. They're uh, really angry given the stuff they've been seeing and reading. I think I'm just going to head to the, uh... Ah, jeez. There's people up there. Look like they're fighting. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Give for a cup of tea. I haven't seen any save spots or anything around here. I don't know if maybe if I, uh. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's someone standing over there near the, the light. If I'm lucky, I can sneak up on them and uh, strangle them. Assuming no one else is nearby. Standing awfully still, but I can't tell if he's facing forward or if he's facing towards that light. Well, he's actually facing away. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Hello. Hello. Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You dressed like one. Oh, crap. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here! Over here! Do you want to get thrashed? Oh, man. Come in! Come in! God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. That's outrageous! Your funeral? They're so angry. Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy. And it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of our batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! 
Okay, so apparently I have to uh, take my uh, current nice clothing and uh, rip it to shreds and make myself look like crap like the townspeople to blend in. So, with that being said, I think, uh, I think I have to do that, wherever that might be. Check up here first. I'll talk to that guy in one moment. I think that's the guy that wants the medals I took off that statue. Oh, cool. A workbench. That's like a crafting table in uh, Skyrim. That's neat. Yeah, so I'll talk to this guy first and see what happens. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. And they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. And when he woke up, he realized it had all just been a bad dream. Well, so far, no one's getting angry at me for stealing stuff. That's a good thing. I bet if it hits a point where you trade for things or something like that, then someone might recognize something. Uh, some of the items you have are stolen. Hey, so I gotta craft a torn suit. See uh, how I can put clothing on. Oh, I got another point. Oh, no, that's a zero. Never mind, I'm, I'm a dope. That zero was so skinny. So skinny, I thought it was a uh, one. Okay, so... I guess I already, already am uh, wearing it. Oh, I don't think my suit is decent anymore. Well, I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. And like I said, I apologize, apologize if I talk funny, um, this headset is, uh, covering my ears, and it's the only way I can comfortably wear it, and, uh, because I'm in front of my TV set right now, and when I talk, I can't really hear what I'm saying, so every so often I sound, like, either muffled or I say my, uh, words weird because, you know, aside of my, uh, New England accent, um, I say things weird because... I can't really hear how I'm saying it, which is really strange. Oh, there's a mask up here. Take that. I lied for you today at 4.15. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle? Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and and her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again. 
so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. So apparently those gold masks end up uh, letting you see or hear the past, I'm assuming. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Just like Skyrim, if you pick up a book, you can learn things. That's pretty cool. I like that about Skyrim. You didn't just get the books and you didn't just read them, but you actually found things in them which would be placed on your map, like uh, hidden areas and treasure and stuff like that. And also uh, different quests that you'd find. Yeah, Skyrim is uh, its pretty awesome. I'm still actually playing it, and uh, I've been playing it for years, and uh, it's still not boring. It's just I jump from game to game from time to time. There aren't many games that I've uh, played all the way through because I play so many games. But I do get really far in a lot of them. Like for example, uh, the God of War game. I uh, I beat the regular mission and I started completing all the uh, side quests. And now I'm fighting the Queen Valkyrie. And um, the Queen is really difficult. And then once I beat the queen, I'm going to try to get all the little hidden secrets and areas and stuff and treasures. And then I'll play what's called the Game Plus. And I think the Game Plus, it plays through the game again, but other things are opened up inside it. And, and if I'm not mistaken, some um, other uh, areas and stuff that weren't in the regular game are in it. I, I could be totally wrong, but like I said, I don't read a lot about video games purposely so I don't have uh, any surprises ruined for me. So everything you see me do is just me just trying to figure it out and exploring. As opposed to having uh, checked a guide or looked at uh, stuff online, tips and tricks. What? Oh, crap. I had a bunch of people waiting out here about to beat my head in. I might be able to just fly by them. I'm going to save the game first. And, uh... Oh, it won't even let me save the game. Shucks. Hold on a sec. Let me back out of here and I'll go over here and see if it lets me save it. I have a bad feeling I'm going to get, like, killed by that mob. Ah, oh, it won't even let me save the game. Shoot. Well, I think I'm dressed like them now, so maybe they might... Just Might be fine. Like and I, I apologize that I'm saying uh, that a lot of the references in this game remind me of other games. I suppose that's how people make games now, is they see things from other games and they kind of get ideas from it. Like, for example, in uh, this here for the whole stealth thing, or characters, how they respond to you. They have an indicator above them and tells you if they're angry, mad, or whatever, hostile. Kind of like uh, Metal Gear. Oh yeah, see, they, they don't seem to bother me now, which is cool. But I bet if I wanted to, I, I could punch one of them and uh, really piss them all off, and then they'd all start coming after me. That'd be ironic. I have thirst in England. Let's see what this per... I'm not cooking oh, no. for you! Not gonna Leave cook for me. Get out of here. Oh, oh crap. I, I think I'm just gonna kinda keep running. These people don't like me. I didn't know they were gonna be angry that I stepped into their house. Ooh, what's this? Yeah. That was that plant I couldn't, uh, I believe people fast on couldn't purpose. pick through before. I guess I can only pick that plant at uh, night. I think there was another one over here. <laughs> there it is. They glow. That's pretty cool. Of course, until I pick them. I get out of this place. Mm. 
I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Now, hopefully, this isn't the type of game where, like, they're all running after me and searching for me. If I'm lucky, it's a type of game that if I get far away enough, they won't be able to bother me. All right. Cool. Awesome. Let me get out of this place. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone followed me. That's good. Bloody hell. I've forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Heck. Oh man, what's Oh, holy crap. I thought that was gonna uh, zap me. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. Actually, I didn't even think about... Uh, I was going to try to see if it gave me anything if I started messing with it. Just want to check over here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Start tripping. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired. So we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <coughs> oh, I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. No, I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. A stranger in a strange land. A song from Iron Maiden. I think this game is British. Maybe that's a reference to Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden's pretty awesome. These people That's like, how I like me. It. How about you? You're taking your joy, then you shouldn't have any trouble sleeping. And if you did suck, well, what on earth are you waiting for? Get back this on your shall pass, oh, I suppose. Sometimes you just have to eat wrong things. That's life, isn't it? It's that lady that I saw earlier. Well, what's going on today in the village of Hamlet? It's this guy. They have gossamer wings, just oh, like in dogs. Dogs. the river. And again, I'm just looking around to see if I can find anything. Might be of use. There's probably nothing around here. You'd be surprised uh, where developers hide things in some of these mm -hmm. games. Like little nooks, or there could be like a little drop off on a cliff. Find something. 
I know my waypoint's pointing to the left. And again, uh, the reason I kind of look around these areas really thoroughly mostly is because um, if it goes into any type of animation that suddenly it cuts my opportunity to try to uh, find things. Now, I could be wrong. This game might not even do stuff like that. Oh, there's cops up there. I don't know if the cops don't like me anymore, if they know that I stole a bunch of stuff. But, uh, I'll sneak up here, take a look and see what they're doing. Maybe I can hear what they're saying. Actually, maybe what I could do is, uh... Oh, oh crap. Yeah, luckily they don't have guns. Yeah, I don't think they're interested in me. Luckily. We'll laugh about this later. Maybe I'll just stick to the path for now. Why is she mad at me? Oh, she's mad at me because I got a rock in my hand. No, oh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna attack... Ah, jeez. What in the heck? I didn't do anything. All I had was a rock in my hand. She apparently saw that as a sign of aggression. Oh, they're looking for me. Jeez. I didn't just get out of here. And here we are. Look. What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your boar bags. I'll piss in your corpses. <laughs> We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the bee meat! <laughs> Dumb guy. We're not a bloody Cry have it! Rocks at me or something. Take this. Ah, jeez. I know there are that many cops here. Ah, man. Get out of here. I can't climb out. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, man, I died. Ah, bummer. Hey, there I am. <laughs> That's funny. They don't want to say I died. They say I went on holiday, or vacation, as it's called. Nice. Well, I think I'm going to stop playing from this point on. But uh, for any of you guys watching, I appreciate it. And um, I, I'm watching my uh, little Facebook feed thing here. I can't tell if anyone's typing anything because it only shows me so far. So if any of you guys are typing anything, I apologize if I'm not responding. Because I only can see like about seven entries. But anyway, um, I might broadcast tomorrow night possibly a different game or possibly the same game but anyhow um, 
yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great rest of your night.